Hey everybody, it's Craig Bechte here. In this video, we're gonna have a closer look at the Kessler K-plate. Now you can see it right here. I'm attached to the Kessler Quick Receiver. And this also has the same setup as the Quick Stand. So there's the Mini, the regular size, and the XL Quick Stands. And this is built a lot similar to it, except it gives you the versatility of adding 15 millimeter rods to the front and the back. So you can see here, I have the small rig mini follow focus set up on the one rod here. You could also add lens support attachments. You could have two rods coming out the back to support a V-mount battery. So it's really cool. And I'll just take it off so you can see. Now I could just take it out of the receiver and it sits perfectly on a table. So it's got the same principles of the Kessler Quick Stand. Now, if you're not familiar with the Kessler Quick Stand, I have a video about that. I'll have it pop up. I'll also put a link below in the description box where you can check out more about the Kessler Quick Stand system. Now, all I have to do is just pop this back in, the Kessler V2 receiver. I just slide it in, it's Arca Swiss compatible, and then I lock it down. So it gives me a very secure connection. Now, the Kessler K plate I also- I didn't get that. Could you try again? For some reason, Siri thinks I said something, and now I can't turn her off. <laughs> so with the Kessler K plate, there's a number of screw holes here. You've got quarter 20 and 3 8 and you've got them on the front, you've got them on the back, you have them on the sides. So it allows you to attach other attachments to the base plate for the camera base plate. Now you can also get the Kessler cheese plate, the K plate, cheese plate, and then that just connects here to the side. You can put it on the left or the right or both, and this will allow you to attach other things like a monitor, like a microphone, various attachments so that you don't have all of the weight on the actual camera cage itself. You can attach it to the base plate. Also, it makes it a lot easier too if you wanna just detach your camera from the base plate and do something on a gimbal, then you don't have as much stuff to unrig and things like that. So it gives you some added flexibility. And like I mentioned, you can have rods on the back, you could have this cheese plate on the back, you could have it on the sides, you could have a number of different accessories. So I think it's very flexible in that regard. Now, if you have any comments or questions, you can post them down below. Also, if you found this video helpful, just hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, just hit that subscribe button because I have another video coming out about some more Kessler accessories. And if you want to see those, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those. All right, thanks for watching this video. It's Craig Bechter here, and I'll see you in the next video.